I want to go now to Jeffrey Thomas. He's the Editor-in-Chief and Managing Director of AirlineRatings.com. Joining us from Perth, Australia. Great to see you, Jeffrey. Um, you know, on the back right. of this testimony, very heated, tough questions. But I, I want you to take me through your sense of how he was able to field some of these questions. And of course, just hours before his testimony, you had that new whistleblower coming in with very serious allegations, basically proving that no real change has occurred in Boeing when it comes to safety. Look, indeed, it was a very brutal hearing. And uh, uh, David Calhoun was, was honest, as upfront, taking responsibility um, and is adamant that, that there is a culture change. Uh, and that's that's been my sense uh, from engineers and workers that I've spoken to at Boeing that yes, change is certainly underway. And since they um, had uh, those special uh, staff meetings, worker meetings in uh, in February of this year, there's been 30,000 suggestions put forward by staff on improvements that Boeing could make right across the board. So they're working through those. Now, to the whistleblower allegations that have just surfaced, uh, they came in yesterday. Uh, Boeing hasn't uh, had a chance to respond to those and to investigate exactly what they're about. But look, whistleblowers are very, very important. No question about that. But several whistleblower claims that have been made, including one that 787s would fall out of the sky, have been found to be not correct and have been you know, slightly exaggerated. So there's, we, have to, we have to treat them, obviously, with great respect and, and examine them in great detail. But we also have to be cautious that uh, the allegations being made are, in fact, uh, well-founded and correct. So, Jeffrey, I, I mean, there's a couple of things there. And you say there are many suggestions that have come through and new commitments being put on the table and conditions that they want to comply with. After the two fatal crashes, um, that we saw with the 737 in Ethiopia and Indonesia. It is clear, and many of the um, uh, many of what we've heard in terms of questioning, basically show that there's mounting evidence that Boeing has not complied with a lot of those conditions. What do you say to that? Because since since those fatal crashes, one would assume that there would be a huge turnaround on the safety front, which has not been the case. Well, it takes a long time for these changes to be implemented uh, also you know you've got the supply chain as well uh, you have to make sure that all down the line um, you know, Boeing's got literally thousands they've got 22,000 suppliers right around the globe now uh, the the all the changes that are required take time it can't be done overnight um, and uh, they have to be done carefully, methodically, to make sure that every, at every single turn, things, ha first of all, all the parts have to be examined. Are these parts correct? Uh, are these parts uh, made, being made properly? Um, are the raw materials uh, are, uh, are correct? So there's a, there's a raft of things that have to be checked. There's a raft of things that have to be changed and re-examined. And, you know, we wouldn't want Boeing to rush into this and, and quickly sort of gloss over uh, changes. We want them, to, in fact, to, to be methodical about this. And certainly we had this Alaskan door issue um, in, in, uh, in, in early in the year. But, you know, we still haven't had a full investigation into exactly what happened there as to why that door was taken off at Boeing, the Boeing factory, and why it was not put back on correctly. We still don't have the answers to that yet. Um, but, look, they are, they are indeed making changes right through the system, but they do take time. Um, and maybe it's not fast enough for some of the senators. I understand their angst but they are making progress. Absolutely, Jeffrey. And of course, um, rebuilding trust, because I think that's what many people are feeling as well. I mean, the, the, the people that are frequent flyers are looking at this very closely. So really good to have you on the story for us, Jeffrey Thomas joining us there. Well, officials.